So today I'm just gonna be showing you the difference between our pressure unit, which is the blue one, to the silver one, which is our vacuum chamber. Uh, this, you'll typically see it on a CD2000, CD1500, on our mobile cart, our C1 mobile cart, or an airplane cart, and all our vacuum units. So there's only a few things different from this one in, the, in our blue reaction chamber for our pressure units. And this one, you have uh, both kind of fittings here. You have a uh, thicker glass and different end caps and different O-rings. So you can always reference to our uh, how to refurbish uh, your chamber, which you'll see it's a pressure cell, and I'll show you the difference. Everything else is the same. How to put it together, how to take it apart is all the same. It's just different parts that are, that are required to be used for uh, each individual chamber, in this case, uh, the vacuum and the pressure cell. So you go ahead and remove all the screws. Make sure you don't lose those washers on the screws. And that's thicker glass, so. You still want to be careful when you take these out. You always want to give them like a little twist just to lose the tension from the O-rings. And then you want to just start on one side, start prying it a little bit, a little bit on the other side, and just do that to both sides till it completely comes off. As you can see, these end caps have holes in them. And then you do that to the other side. You want to go ahead and uh, twist the uh, brush out of the screw. There you go. You push your brush out. Same shim, different glass. So these are the few things that are different on it. The shim is the same. Your brush is the same. Outer O-rings are the same. The only thing that changes on the vacuum from the pressure is that on the pressure you have two smaller O-rings that go in the, in the center of the end cap. This one only requires one, which is ORG10. It only takes one per end cap and two of the bigger for the outer. Uh, on this one, when you're rebuilding these, on the pressure, we have sealing washers, a stainless steel and then a rubber one to seal it because it is gonna get pressurized, it, it is a pressure cell. This one does not require anything. You just get your uh, kinar fitting, give it a little back turn, make sure it's set before you sealing washers. It doesn't take the stainless steel or the rubber washer. So same thing as the as you can see in the on the rebuild video for the re, uh, pressure cell. You don't want to cross thread, so start off slow, and then don't crank them down too much. So you go ahead and uh, put your two your two outer rings, and then your center ring, and that's how you uh, do your. You make sure you lube them up. You will receive a smaller lube kit. Lube up your O-rings, reinstall them. This is for our C1 airplane cart, CD2000, and CD1500 vacuum chamber. You go ahead and uh, even out the shim. You you hold the you hold the shim with on one end. You push the brush to the other one so it doesn't move out of place. Leave that much far out. You go ahead and uh, adapt it to your uh, high voltage cap. Once it's there, same thing, hold the opposite end, hold the shim, give it a little, see if you can tighten a little bit more, the screw to the brush, insert. You just hear one click, cause there's only one O-ring in the center. And then you go ahead and reinstall it. And those are the only things that kind of change on these, so if you ever need to order spare parts for this unit, our O-ring 
Our O-ring set kit is ORS30. That comes with the two big outer rings and that one center piece. It comes with two of the big ones and four of the outer ones to complete uh, the full rebuild for one chamber. Uh, this one, compared to the pressure cell, has both both fittings are Kynar. And on the pressure one, you have a Kynar and a stainless steel. So on this one, they're both Kynar. They do not take ceiling washers. And then the glass is sticker on our vacuum units. And this glass, the part for it is RCC 66, if you ever have broken glass. If you ever do find broken glass, damaged brush, damaged end caps, any burn marks, or just really, really burned up O-rings in here, I do recommend you getting new end caps or to make it all easier for you. You don't have to worry about rebuilding or doing anything. We do have our core exchange program, which I highly recommend. We do the job for you for 175. We replace glass, brush, end caps. We hone the inside for you, which is in my opinion, the hardest to get everything out really clean inside. So that is our core exchange program. You could always ask for that, call our service department. And these are the only things that pretty much change from our pressure cell to our vacuum cell. Quickly how to reinstall it. Again, you just push down, you hear the click, you align the end cap with the holes. You wanna put it straight down. You just wanna push down evenly on both sides. Boom, you hear that click. You screw your screws back in. And there you go, this is our vacuum suit.